Hi, I'm Anwin, and on this episode of Emerald Code Decoded, we meet Maya, who's fascinated by autonomous robotics, which are robots you can teach to do what you want them to do. Maya helped build a smart wheelchair that can go around corners and through doors, the same technology Simone used to fly the candy drones all over the school in Emerald Code, but with way different results. Ten students from across Canada achieving greatness in science, technology, engineering, and math. This is Emerald Code Decoded. My name is Maya Brahanfurkar, and I'm 18 years old and from Oromedonti, Ontario. And I am a polymath. My projects have ranged from Alzheimer's disease to theoretical physics to, most recently, autonomous robotics. My journey in STEM is a bit of a winding one. Uh, for me, I started out in a basement laboratory um, a, that I had built because I had emailed a bunch of professors, university professors, when I was nine or 10 years old, saying that I wanted to work in their labs. Um, and they naturally weren't okay with that. And uh, so I decided to build a lab in the basement and I started out doing um, research on antibiotics and Alzheimer's disease. Um, and I slowly transitioned into engineering and the physical sciences. Um, and so more recently, my work has been in fields like theoretical physics, um, in computational cosmology, and uh, autonomous robotics as well. So the wheelchair has two independent software packages. One of them is fully autonomous, and one of them is semi-autonomous. And the semi-autonomous one is the one that I worked on. And so you're able to uh, put the wheelchair in any unfamiliar environment, turn it on, and it'll just work automatically. It'll do things like going through doorways, or going down long corridors, or parking itself at a desk or, or a table. And so what I worked on is helping to write a package where you can just um, navigate yourself to roughly in front of a door and then hit a door traversal button and then the wheelchair will automatically detect the door for you and then it'll follow the best possible path um, through that door completely autonomously. So all of the parts on this wheelchair that make it autonomous can be um, added to any existing wheelchair. So there's nothing special about the actual chair part about this. But uh, so we have here, we have a camera and this camera will get image data. So just like a regular camera does, but it also has depth data. So that means you can see how far away objects are from you. There are also encoders on the wheels and encoders are just devices that tell you how much a wheel has turned and so you can use that to get distance data um, to find out how far the wheelchair has moved. Um, there are also some computers on the chair. There's also a touch screen on the side of the wheelchair and this touch screen um, allows the user to select whatever location they want to go to and it will also display a map uh, of where the wheelchair is along the route it's going to be taken. How do you think we can get more kids into STEM? For me, something that I have felt very passionately about is, is especially trying to get more girls and more minorities uh, in STEM. And I think a big part of that is representation, is making sure that people, the amazing people, amazing women and amazing, um, such a diverse range of researchers who are already doing research, get out there and, and share their stories and share their experiences to show young people that anything is possible. We love seeing girls in STEM too, Maya. To find out more, go to emeraldcode.ca to find out which part of the STEM world is the right fit for you.